Hello, Mike Bradley here. Hope you are doing well as always. So last night I was having a bit of a Prince fix and I was watching um, the concert from 1999. It's New Year's Eve 1999. I think it's like Rave until the year 2000, I think it's called. And I remember getting that on DVD, um, oh man, like 2008 or something. And it's great. What I haven't seen it in years. Watching it back, it's very, very 90s, but it got me in a Prince mode, you know? And this morning I was checking out a load of Prince stuff and then I came across this video on YouTube and I'll put a link below. And um, what's it called? It's called Prince Destroying Guitars in Four Minutes. Like I say, I'll put a, uh, a link below. And there's one bit, it's about 27 seconds in, and he throws the guitar up and then you don't like it. See it, let's watch it and you can see what I mean, right? And now, it doesn't come back down, right? It doesn't, let's, let me just rewind that again, right? So, here he is playing. Now, he is throwing that up. He's not throwing that forward. He's not kind of going behind. He's throwing it up. And there's no one behind him. <laughs> and it just disappears. Let's have a look at him. <laughs> now watch. Didn't fall on the floor. And then it goes to the next bit. It is like, he's a wizard. Prince is a wizard. It's a, do check out the full video. Like I say, I'll put a link below to who, uh, who posted it. Uh, Purple Range Tube. Thank you guys for this. Um, and I love that, but what I love about Prince, on top of being, you know, one of, you know, really the greatest musicians of the 20th century, you know, he, he was a complete performer. He really was, you know. Again, this video is great. He's always just chucking his guitars about and, um, you know, at the end of the famous George Harrison tribute concert and he, you know, he, he's playing, he's going into the audience, he's coming back and then he throws it. But there you can see the guitar get thrown back. In this clip, again, I want to go back. Let's go back to, uh, let's play it in full, right? Uh, 27 seconds, right. Let's play it in full. Car just disappears. <laughs> but he's great, and I've spoken a little bit about Prince in the past. Uh, he he was such a huge influence on me in the R and B. I guess you would call it Hendrix rhythm playing, which is something I do a lot. And I spoke about cage systems and stuff, uh, which you can get on my website by the way. Check it out. Um, but it was through seeing Prince. That, that all made sense. If you want me to talk about that, please leave a section in the comment, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. But he was such an influence, and as well as throwing guitars and being a complete wizard, the one thing I really love what he does is what with the flanger. Let me get a guitar, one sec. Right, if I'm talking about Prince, I should really get a Telecaster, shouldn't I? Right, Telecaster on. What I love about Prince. <laughs> kick on a flange, you know, right, flanger. Sorry, I always call it flange. But um, in case you're wondering on what my settings are, because uh, a few people have asked me this in the past, so let me just, uh, thank you iPhone. <laughs> let me just zoom in here. So I've got the BF3, as you can see, and I've got the, what's that, the kind of res resonance, 
if you will, uh, about one o'clock, and then the manual was about two o'clock, depth about 10, rate just under 10 over nine, and at the moment I've got it in the standard mode. Well, that's what I use a flanger for. I kind of kick it in like kind of Prince would do, you know? I mean, that's cool. You know, Van Halen did a similar thing, didn't he? Where, you know, he'll kind of have a little riff going. Chugging on that low, well, low D in this case now, I'm tuned down a tone. Um, it's got that like sound, you know, about it. It's like without it. With it. So if you're doing a little thing I did here, when I'm doing that, well, I'm kicking on the flange, so. Sounds really cool. So I might as well now if only I could throw the guitar up <laughs> and it vanishes as well, you know. I have no idea how he did that. Please, someone let me know. If you know, let me know in that comment section below how he did that, because um you know, there's obviously a tech somewhere, but is the tech up the top? Is he, is he under, I, I don't know. But it's just, you, you didn't see the guitar fall. <laughs> Prince, man, gotta love him, gotta love him. love as always and I will see you hopefully not such a rainy England very soon. Mike Braddy signing out. Bye!